Hey y'all, it's Friday evening. Um, we are just in the house chilling. I have not picked up the camera all day, not necessarily purposefully, but I had kind of like a busy admin day. So um, I'm off the entire weekend. I'm off today, tomorrow, today's Friday, today, tomorrow, Sunday. Um, and I don't go back in until like midday Monday. Um, I just needed to take like a break. I don't know, I just felt like I've been working, 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 working. I was like, I'm putting in a little bit of PTO. So I have been off all day and I said, you know what? I'm gonna clean my house. And I'm going to like fold laundry and you know, just do all the things. So I did get the vlog up today um, at its normal time. I did a lot of little computer work too, stuff that I had to do, like answer some emails. Um, I had the vlog that I got up earlier today because I did get up a little bit early and kind of like um, finish a couple titles and stuff that I needed to put on it and get it um, uploaded. What else did I do? I stopped at the grocery store this morning, um, picked up just random stuff. Um, I needed coffee creamer. The boys needed juice. Um, we needed bread. Um, and I got some fruits. So that was that. This evening, we were supposed to watch Matilda. Me and Kaden had decided that that's what we would do um, this morning. But I don't know. We Cameron... Um, what was I going to say? Um, we had decided that we were going to watch Matilda, but then when we got like home and settled and everything, we decided on something else. So we made lasagna, had that with mixed green salad. Clarence and I tried this new wine, Bonanza. It's by the makers of Camus. I don't know if you can see that. But if you know, you know when it comes to wine. Um, but yeah, it's by the makers of Camus. I've heard about it before. We've been wanting to try it in the past. So, okay, they turn that down some. Um, so yeah, we got a bottle of that. And it's pretty good. I like it. It's kind of jammy. Um... It's nothing crazy. Like it's a it's a easy um a easy drink. Um I've showered. I'm in my favorite pajamas. These are literally my new favorite pajamas. I will be sure to link them below. I've had so many of you guys in the comments say that you love them, um that you have them too and you love them. I'm definitely going back to get uh probably the all black pair and the burgundy pair because I think those would be nice for the holidays. Um when I went to get these, the all black they didn't have in medium. They either had it in a small, extra small, or an extra large or a large. And I just know for me that'd be too big. Um so yeah. That's all we have for the remainder of the evening cam's actually tired like he really really is um he did not get to finish out his little nap so like i think he was literally down for like i'm gonna say 15 minutes tops and he's exhausted so uh i'm gonna make the boys go to bed <laughs> and i'm gonna get in bed and probably watch basketball wives catch up on basketball wives i did place a sephora um order earlier today like it opened up for everybody um because i you know i think rouge is like for the first maybe three days or something like that i don't know all the details um because y'all know, I mean, for me, I normally get a lot of my stuff from Ulta because when they do their sale, it's like 50% off. You get a really, really good percentage. And so for me, I did not need any makeup items. There was nothing on my list as far as makeup that I needed that I have not already re-upped on with a higher percentage off, you know, more than any 15 or 20%. So that being said... I um picked up mostly skincare 
I don't think I got anything outside of skincare. Um, I replaced my Lancome Tonique Comfort. I'll share everything with you guys because I pay, uh, place it as a curbside pickup, but I may go in just to take a look. But um, my Lancome Tonique Comfort. Um, I did try a new exfoliating cleanser only because I've heard great things about it. And the one that I'm using now, I've literally been using for like three or four years now so it's like girl switch it up so I did switch that but I needed a new one I think I have like this much of my current one um I got a new eye cream to try for the evenings um a, a couple of things um another of my um my favorite like nighttime serum but like I said when I pick it up tomorrow I'll share it with you that's all I got right now, y'all. We're about to, like, call it a night. Um, so I will, of course, take you guys with me tomorrow. But I'm about to, like, wind it on down and catch up on Basketball Wives. So I started watching it a little bit this morning. But then when I got into, like, real clean mode, I just drifted off from it. So I'm going to try to catch off or catch up or start off where I, like, remember ending off with that get the kids down and I will see you guys tomorrow I feel like I'm so tired like oh I just need rest it has been the craziest work week but I'm gonna get some rest and I will see y'all tomorrow Hey y'all, so just finished getting myself ready for the morning. I've already cooked the kids breakfast and everything. Um, I'm getting ready to run some errands. I did uh, order some stuff from Sephora, so I need to pick up that order. So that's all that's on the agenda today. Get my hair down, throw some clothes on, and we're gonna hit the street. It is 9.55, so fairly early. Um, I've already had my coffee for the morning, but Starbucks has holiday drinks out. I did get one the first day it came out. It was pretty good. Um, I just stuck with the tall because girl, I haven't been in Starbucks in so long, but when the talls get like $6, okay. Um, Y'all know I have a Keurig and I have an espresso. Yeah, I didn't know it had gotten that bad. So yeah, we'll, we'll peek our head in every now and then, but it's not gonna be crazy. But they do have an iced, uh holiday drink too that i want to try but yeah i'm about to get my clothes on y'all these jammies you need them you need them um yeah so i'm gonna finish getting myself together and i'll bring you guys along for the day hey you guys so i am headed to sephora um and crate and barrel but i stopped in this dollar tree that i was passing and thank god i did y'all when i tell y'all i basically did some christmas shopping for the boys and it was very unintentional so they had all these like hot wheels and um 
National Geographic like crystal set. So what I did was said, let me just pick up some stocking stuffers early. So I got each one of the kids this National Geographic crystal lab set it's perfect because it's very stem forward which is a lot of the stuff that um kaden does for school he's in a whole like stem program so on and so forth um you guys know i work in tech and we are very like stem forward we provide a lot of the um technology uh for a lot of the schools in the area um when it comes to stem so stem is a big big thing for us so i got each one of the boys these and then cam or not cam but kaden's not really into hot wheels per se anymore however cam is and so they had a black panther hot wheel and i got it again girl this was the dollar tree okay they had the um pixel what is this i don't know it's just all kinds of random like spaceships and stuff it looks like you can collect eight of them i think i got four so i got this one these are all for cam i got this one um and i got this one so these are all going to be little fun stocking stuffers for them i have some other things that i've um, been able to find just along like going through walmart when i'm there and just checking out what they've got um so the boys honestly for christmas they're pretty safe i don't know if you guys noticed but when i went to walmart last week <laughs> somebody was like you had a big old uh tonka truck in your cart and i'm like yeah because i was doing christmas shopping as well so these since september i've been christmas shopping y'all this was the greatest find ever like i think i just spent maybe ten dollars on stocking stuffers for both the kids and i got major things like these aren't non-name brand items you know what i'm saying Let's try this new Starbucks drink, y'all. It is oh, the gingerbread. No, it's a grande ice gingerbread oat milk chai. But I got it in a venti cup with extra ice. Um, because for some reason, in my personal opinion, when I get just the grande, they do not put enough ice for me. So I have stirred it up a little bit. And hold on, y'all. Let's try it out. Bitch. <laughs> Baby, that's good. I like that a lot. Oh, y'all. That's so good. Really, really good. Make sure to stir it up because, like, my syrupy stuff was at the bottom. Mm. But that's delicious. So, now we really are headed to...
turning this light on, hold on. Still enjoying my coffee. Let me share with you guys, before I put it all away, what I got in the Sephora sale. So, nothing crazy. Um, again, everything was like a re-up of some kind for me. The first thing I got was another Lancome Tonique Comfort um, Rehydrating Comforting Toner. Um, you guys could see when I was doing my skincare routine this morning that this one is like halfway gone. So I definitely had to re-up on this. I'll be sure to link it down below. I think these are normally like 39 bucks. So to get 15% off, that's what I wanted. Um, what else did I pick up? I also picked up the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray the guy inside of there um because i originally came in to like pick up my online order but then i also picked up this as well while i was in there um he just swore by this he was like girl it doesn't come in often it's always sold out and i believe that because i've tried to order it online several times and it's always sold out um he was like so if you want it get it and i noticed that there was literally four of them left i got the fourth one there's three left after that so i did go ahead and pick up one of these i've heard great things my girl keiko said that she really likes it too so i went ahead and picked it up um my charlotte tilbury one is so low i probably have like two more uses out of it so yeah he was like even if you get it and save it until summer he was like it's worth the money so i picked that up i just went and picked up all the products that i basically um repurchased so i could show y'all because i'm not in the bathroom of course but like i said my long comb tony comfort is almost gone so i did pick up one of those and then i picked up a replacement for my clarins one step gentle exfoliating uh cleanser because I've got so little of this left and I have been using this oh my gosh you guys probably for like three or four years now and so I wanted to try something a little bit different so after reading reviews and then someone recommending this saying that it works really really well for their skin and they have the same skin type that I do they're like combination dry um I figured this would be perfect this is the Murad aha and bha exfoliating cleanser um for hydration y'all know the winter months are amongst us and so i use an exfoliating cleanser this particular one two to three times a week so i knew like i need another one however i wanted to step outside of the box a little bit and try something different so i did pick up this and what i like is honestly this one's much bigger than my current one so i feel like i may not have to replace as often this one's a 6.75 and this one's 4.3 so you do get more product this one's a little more pricey though this one's like 43 and this one's no this one's 39 and this one's 46 but either way i just wanted to kind of step outside of the box a little bit because like i said i use the same things through and through you know what i mean so there's that i replaced my evian so i'm about how you can't see it of course but i'm about halfway through my evian spray and a lot of people talk about the caudalie or caudalie beauty elixir i did not necessarily want to try that i have tried it years ago in the past it was like hey, it was okay it wasn't like spectacular for me um but i hear that this grape water is really really good so this is the um grape water it's similar to this the evian it's just like um 100 percent organic grapes were used no need to blot after spraying it's just supposed to soothe moisturize um antioxidant good for um sensitive skin same thing here it hydrates refreshes tones so because i'm running out of this i decided to pick up the Cuddly or cuddly, whatever you call it, but I will leave it down below for you guys 
in case you are interested. I picked up this, the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream. I do not have a nighttime eye cream. I've been using my uh, Sea Buckthorn Eye Serum under my eyes at night, which is really good. However, the winter months are amongst us and I want something that's like cream based, like hydrating, really, really hydrating. And this is good because it's best for fighting the signs, the first signs of aging, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it treats. It's specifically for the nighttime according to the packaging. And so I have never tried anything from the Inky List, but I've heard really, really good things. My girl Keiko has raved about them before. I think she really likes their like oat milk cleanser, if I'm not mistaken. So I went ahead and, whoa, child, picked this up because I am in the market for an eye cream. And I like the fact that it was like in a tube. So, Oh, that's cool. Okay. You just dispense a little on your finger so we'll see how this works i will keep you guys posted so that was all that was in this bag um and then i went ahead and just bought a backup of my uh i went ahead and got a backup of my clarence double serum as well can't go wrong <laughs> with clarence double serum so i did pick up another one of those because it was not in the ulta sale this year and the one that I have currently, I don't have a backup at this point. So yeah, I was like, let me just go ahead and get another one. Y'all know I live and breathe by this serum. I have been using this serum now going on 10 years. And I know since I was like 26 years old, 26 or 27. Um, and it has been amazing and I'm 36, okay? And the skin be skinning this is bomb um i used to use it a lot just like all year round i did start using it more seasonally because i have other serums that i use now but specifically for these colder months this is like one of the best anti-aging serums on the market i promise you and the beautiful thing about clarence is that they are plant derived everything's plant-based so this has a lot of plant abstract in it so if you're a person who wants some clean beauty or, you know, you just don't want to be throwing a whole lot of chemicals on your skin when it comes to your anti-aging process, the Clarence Double Serum, hands down the best. And then the last and final thing that I picked up was another of my Lancome Hydrazen uh, moisturizers because, as you can see, I'm at the point of scraping. <laughs> um... This is some good stuff. And so I wanted to pick up another one of these. This one's good. Uh, it's an anti-stressing moisturizer. So it's good for um, like puffiness, stressed skin. It's good for like just treating your skin really, really nice. This has been one of my favorites. I actually discovered this moisturizer in an Ulta sale a couple years ago and have just been addicted to using it. Not only this, but um, the toner, as you guys can see, I love and I've purchased it multiple times. So when I saw that I was, I'm not gonna say pan, but hitting glass on this, cause it is a glass bottle. I said, let me go ahead and pick up another one of these too. So that is all I got, everything skincare related. I just didn't need any more makeup. You guys know. Oh. The receipt the pickup receipt um but you guys know that i have you know purchased makeup and things like that here recently so when it came to makeup i didn't need anything else they just have this little flyer in here i also stopped at crate and barrel while i was in there i found some martini glasses the holidays are coming up and i want to make some cocktails so i was watching my girl jerry demacia and she kept talking about a lemon drop. And I was like, girl, I ain't had a lemon drop in a minute. But that used to be my drink. Y'all know I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm not big on alcohol. Um, well, I mean, hard alcohol. Um, I like wine. That's it. <laughs> but when we go out and stuff, I do try um, little fancier drinks. And so I figured, let me get us some martini glasses for the holidays. I'm going to get some coupe glasses, too um i've been looking through i had it here it's probably in my office crate and barrel sent a catalog for this season too so i've been looking through that but i just wanted to get some 
martini glasses because I want to make some martinis. Um, like lemon drops, cosmopolitans, things like that. Some holiday festive things, teens. I just thought these were the perfect little glass. So how cute. What I like about them is they have like this little divot. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. They have like this little divot right here. And they're just the perfect size. So, um... Eventually, I'll get like some really, really big ones, but I just thought these were perfection. These are from the Ridgecrest line. The girl in there was saying that these are um, discontinuing, so, but they were only $1.97. I did get two of them. Um, and then I'm gonna get two like bigger ones as well. But I'm gonna wash these up and put them on the bar. I just thought these were so pretty. Who doesn't? Cheers to the holidays. But I wanna sit down and relax before I do anything. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Hey y'all, so we're in line waiting on our Chick-fil-A. The kids are all fascinated <laughs> by these little scarecrows. What is Cam doing? I have no idea. I'm so hungry though. When I was little, I used to do do this thing where I rub my belly and squeeze my tongue out. When I Y'all are both silly. <laughs> hey y'all. They did all the grocery shopping. So I'm just unpacking. I'm getting ready to head to Caden's game in a minute too. Tons of like veggies, frozen veggies, ground turkey, tomatoes, goldfish, Simply Smart organic chicken dino nuggets, hoagie bread, hamburger buns, You want to target? <laughs> Spaghetti noodles. <laughs> Hamburgers. The weather's kind of warm, so y'all know we're going to attempt to grow. Noodles. Oh, yeah, you did? That's good. Oh really? I mean, it's a brand, but it ain't like it's a home. Uh, home version. Okay. Cocktail sauce. More tomatoes. Tartar sauce. Oh yeah, Kaden did. Yogurt. Yeah, I got those the other day. More yogurt. Are you helping Cam? Or are you destroying? <laughs> are you getting the bags for me? Good. Thank you so much. Shrimp. What's this, baby? Okay. Cookies. <laughs> that one. Potatoes. Rusted potatoes. Baking potatoes. Cookies. Oh, I like that, Kaden. Sprout in Publix, by the way. This is produce from Sprout. Raspberries. Oranges. It looks really good, yeah. You look so handsome. Hold off, Cam. You got this. 
Sorry. I like it. Kate, uh, Clarence went to Target and got them some clothes stuff too. So he's over here trying to close. Strawberry. Oh, Daddy got that for you? Uh-huh. Pears. Apples. Mine. Yes, baby. Last time the other one was those. Oh, really? Uh-huh. But now I have this one. I want to see a new Oh, really? Uh-huh. Good. See a new See? It's real. It's real one. Oh, real? Oh, look! Leo! How special for you? Great. I'm gonna wash all the fruit. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, so it's not quite 2 o'clock. You already know. Alright, y'all, we're gonna finish putting up the groceries. We'll probably see you guys at the football game. <laughs> Are they yummy, Cam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catch your son. Oh, good defense. Nice. Oh, nice. Carmen Jenkins. Yeah. Wow, Martin. Yeah. Carter McIntyre. Yeah. Outlaw. Woo! Yeah, he called Kaden. <laughs>